Hey, welcome back here with Ranching Mafia. Today, as you can see by the thumbnail, we will be doing an oil change on this 2021 Chevy Silverado. This is a 5.3 V8. This car has 48,000 miles. This will be its seventh oil change. So I'm gonna take you guys along and uh, we're gonna go by the oil, oil filter, and then we'll go with the specifications to see how much oil this vehicle takes and the procedures. So before we get started, make sure you guys hit the like button. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's take you along. As you guys can see, I have the 2021 Silverado 1500 owner's manual. First thing I wanna take a look at will be on page 330, and it tells me here, use SAE 020 WD20 viscosity grade engine oil for engines 5.3 and 6.2 liter V8 engines. So I do have a 5.3 liter engine, so that's the oil we will be required. And of course, if you have different engines, you'll use a 530. So always go by your manufacturer guide. Next thing you wanna do is take a look at the capacity and what type of uh, oil filter it takes. So we go to uh, this page here, it's showing the oil filter part number. So pretty much gives you the AC Delco OEM part and the GM part. So if you guys could get them a call, so I'll take a quick picture and then that way I won't forget. And the next thing we want to see is the oil capacity. So if we go back to the manual, we go to engine oil with filter. I do have a 5.3 V8 engine. It takes eight quarts of 020 engine oil. So that's what we're going to go buy. We're going to buy. And you guys, one thing you guys got to remember, it has to be Dexos approved. So it's very important that you go by the manufacturer specifications. So of course you want to make sure it's Dexos approved Gen 2. So be very cautious of the approvals for the engine oil for your vehicle. All right, let's go to the store. Let's go get the oil, oil filter. And I'll take you guys along with the store to see, uh, see me buy the stuff to perform the oil change. Let's get it. So as you go get the oil to go perform the oil change, a couple of things you guys might need, a couple shop towels, gloves, you guys don't want to get dirty. Uh, of course, if you guys have certain tools, always kind of make sure that you guys have the right tools before you get started on the job. You guys don't want to be stuck, especially if you need a tool, most likely you need like a set of wrenches, sockets, and depending on the type of oil filter you have to remove it. And then uh, of course, um, a drain pan so when you drain the oil and a funnel when you're uh, filling up the vehicle with uh, of course with oil and one thing that you might want to get maybe a parts cleaner just in case you know you get some oil somewhere in the vehicle just kind of spray it down uh so let's go to the store so we're here at walmart we'll be buying the stuff for the oil change here so we came to the store i am going to go with the mobile one this is Dexos 1. This is actually Gen 3. Of course, 0 020. So this is the one we're going to go with. Uh, especially because this is actually has 12 quarts. If we buy the regular one, only it has, we need 8 quarts. So this one has, well, of course, it's not the 0 030, but the 0 020. Costs 26 bucks. So two of those would be pretty much $50. So for 10 more, 8 more dollars, we could get 2 more quarts. Actually, 4 more quarts. So we'll take this one. And then let's get the oil filter. So as you see, we got the oil filter as well. We did get the AC Delco. Uh, Walmart does have them as well. So now we want to do it. We want to get some brake cleaner and a funnel just to make sure that we're all good. So right before we get home to do an oil change, my fuel level low message came on. So we got to pump up some fuel right now before we get to the oil change or else we won't get home. Uh, let's see how much we fill up this puppy with. There's a damage, $94.53, so it takes about 22 gallons. Holy smoke. So now we got enough gas to go back home and let's get this oil change done. So as you guys can see right here, this is the, the stuff we bought. We had some of the stuff ready, like the drain pan. We did get our oil. 0W20, we did get 12 quarts, but we're only gonna use about eight. We got our AC Delco oil filter. I like going OEM. A funnel, nice and clean. Uh, some shop towels, some brake cleaner, just to clean up any spills or messes. And some gloves. 
I really love these gloves. I'll leave a link on the description if you guys want to buy a pack of gloves and our drink plug. So let's get started and we'll go from here. Sometimes, of course, when you work on your vehicle, you got to verify that it's not hot. You don't want to burn yourself. And first thing I like to do is basically remove the oil cap. As you can see right there, the oil cap also tells you it takes Dexo 0W20. So the next step is to basically remove the drain plug. As you guys can see right here, I do I am using my 15 millimeter wrench to remove the drain plug. Here's the drain plug, my old drain pan. So I am gonna break this loose. We are gonna go counterclockwise. Or super tight there we go we're breaking it loose you just gotta be quick so you don't burn yourself and we'll let it drain all the way down so usually when it's dripping just like this i like to get my drain plug i like to clean it uh one thing you gotta also do is replace the seal kind of started by hand there is a torque spec that i'm not 100 percent sure but i just tighten it to, uh not too tight, not too loose. So I know it's nice and tight. So now I want to remove the oil filter. Sometimes these are tight. So you got to have one of those oil filter wrenches. So I'm going to try to break it loose. Then I'll show you guys how to remove it. So once I remove the oil filter, I verify that there's no, that the old gasket doesn't stay on there. Uh, so it's basically a rubber gasket about that thick. You don't want it to basically uh, double gasket and then create a big leak. And then I just kind of like to spray. Kind of clean the area up and just let it air dry as you could see here here's a box of oil i like that it comes with this filler so you can fill it up so i did fill up my oil filter that is the double get the gasket right there that you make sure that you want to remove so you, that way you won't double gasket and i just kind of make sure there's a nice fill of oil in the new gasket and then I'll, I'll install it so once you have your new oil filter installed you want to make sure you go all the way where it's nice and tight and then you don't, you don't want to go too tight but you just want to make sure that's nice and tight and then from there just kind of wipe everything down make sure there's no leaks so now what you want to do once you're of course my old cap is off i want to get my funnel and i'm going to fill it up with about seven quarts of oil seven and a half quarts and then i'm going to uh, start the vehicle for about 30 seconds let it sit and then i'm going to remeasure so once i have it filled up i'll show you guys what's the next step so I put my oil cap back on. I already filled it up about seven and a half quarts of oil. So now what I want to do is basically go to the information center icon, go to where it says reset. I'm press OK. This button here. If you want to reset, I go to the yes. Now it's reset. So now what I'm going to do is start the vehicle. I'm going to let it run for about 30 seconds. And then from there, I want to basically make sure there's no oil leaks by the oil filter and the drain plug. And then I'm going to check the oil level. So here we go. So I let it I let it sit for about another 30 seconds. I verify there's no oil leaks by the oil filter and drain plug. I already pulled out the dipstick once and I wiped it off. I couldn't do it with two hands. I would show you guys, so I'm gonna pull it out. And then what you wanna make sure is that the oil is between those two notches there. And I'm pretty much, I'm good. So that's how you do an oil change on the Silverado 1500 V8 5.3 liter. 
If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.